the night. Karate motherfuckers, we're here to fucking fight. We'll tackle rock, we'll fuck you up. We're the time of kids. We're the girls of time to love you. Who the fuck are you? I think, I really don't think there's anything that doesn't excite me about rugby. I think playing any team sport, you learn a lot of things that can be translated off of the field. I was born an Ahmadi Muslim. I was raised in an Ahmadi Muslim household for my whole life. I mean, I just feel like my interests in general aren't typical interests of like an Ahmadi or just a Muslim woman in general. I have to figure out what I'm not allowed to do. I haven't really experienced these different things before. I don't feel like I'm missing out. I don't think there's any other difference. So I, I think I can do everything else that they can do. After rugby games, I have to figure out like, okay, how am I gonna go home if I'm not the one who drove here, stuff like that, because I'm not supposed to stay for those. It's just, before in high school, it was just like, oh, there are boys at this party, you can't go. And that's it, it was done. But now it's like, okay, you're playing a sport, that's fine. You're, they're all girls on the team, that's fine. And now it's like more complex, because even though it's all girls and it's a sport, there's still other things that happen that I'm not allowed to do. Some people they don't completely understand what it means to like wear the long clothes and wear the hijab. I think after people understand it more and they realize why we're wearing this, then they would respect it. The hijab is basically a form of modesty. One of the main forms of beauty that like people find attractive is hair. Just like walking around in the mall you'll see so many people with like perfect wavy hair and that's like the main thing that they try to perfect that's the thing that they want to show off to the opposite sex so that's why it's really important for us to cover that up because it's kind of like we don't want to expose ourselves to that we don't want to be susceptible to um like men staring at us like that The special hijab that I have for playing is actually an Under Armour ski hood that is used for snowboarding and skiing. And one of the coaches that I had um, my first semester playing actually gave it to me. It's, it's so much better than wearing any other kind of like loose hijab or scarf because it's so tight and it still covers all of my hair. It's perfect, even when I get tackled, it, it doesn't expose my hair, so. Give me Mario on the outside. And give me Maria on this side. As some people might not be in the stage where they're ready to wear the hijab yet, so then when people see them doing these crazy things, they don't actually know that they're Muslim. One of the things that people are trying to do now start wearing the hijab earlier and be more comfortable with it and then when they are out doing these extreme sports then people know they'll be like oh hey she's a muslim girl like that's pretty cool she's doing these ridiculous things you know you have to have courage because you do stick out you do you don't look like everyone else 
Um, I don't mind the team doing the chant at all. I think it's, I actually think it's awesome. It's just because I don't use profanity, it's kind of awkward when we have to do it, like we have to do it every night after our practice. And I kind of, I'll either mumble some of the parts or um, just like skip every time uh, we use profanity. But I still want to take part in it, and I still like the song, so. Yeah, I feel like these things that are happening now with, uh, like, Muslim women stepping up and, like, doing things that people would normally think they're doing, like, playing rugby or skateboarding, these are things that should have happened a long time ago. Like, there's no need for them to be called revolutionary. It's I don't think it's that big of a deal, and I don't think that if these things happen, they should be compared to men doing them in the first place. Like, they're just females who want to be active and want to do extreme sports. I think anyone should be able to do what they want to do and not judge or look at differently just because they're doing something that not a lot of people in their gender, their religion normally do. I mean, I just feel like my interests in general aren't typical interests of, like, an Ahmadi or just a Muslim woman in general. Um, I like snowboarding. I work with reptiles and amphibians at the aquarium. And I play on the Tassin women's rugby team. Um, out of all the teams we've played, I think I've, I think I've heard of one... Uh, other Muslim that's played, but I never actually saw her. <laughs> so I don't think a lot of Muslim women do that. Playing rugby has made me a lot more open-minded to things. Um, I think it's the first time that I've ever been um, like hanging out and playing a sport with um, people that are gay. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> I think we are a pretty diverse team. All the different races, um, body types, skin colors. I think it's a great mix, and that's also made me become more open-minded. Yeah, I think this is an awesome team. I, I didn't play with Frederick that long, but I can tell a complete difference between the two teams. I don't know what it is, but the people on the Towson team are just awesome. Like, right away, everyone just clicks. I definitely think we'll, I'll keep in contact with them.